Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life channel. My goal today is to inspire your spirit with an interesting and uplifting afterlife conversation. Today's guest is Doris Roberts. Now, Doris Roberts is the woman that um, played in everyone, Everybody Loves Raymond. She was the mom, um, the mom of Raymond. And also she's been in Hallmark movies, Mrs. Miracle, for example. That's where I remember her, the Christmas movies. And also she was also in um, the Christmas Vacation movie. So these are just a few things where I know how I know of her. She was also in Hot in Cleveland. Now, I want to give credit for this particular conversation to a YouTuber because I've been watching a vlog from a YouTuber. His name is Jordan and his channel is Days, D-A-Z-E, with Jordan the Lion. And he lives out in Hollywood, California, and I've been watching some of his vlogs where he just walks around Hollywood or other parts of um, the area where there's, you know, interesting conversation and history. And I love old Hollywood. I'm, I'm interested in it. I don't know anything about it very much intellectually, just energetically, I know, because I feel it like I'm like, I totally know it, you know energetically but not physically and I've been to Hollywood um, multiple times in my lifetime because I have relatives in Southern California so I've walked um, those uh, those places myself so I saw on the vlog yesterday when I was exercising I actually saw he talked about I'm going to an estate sale for Doris Roberts. I didn't know who that was. And then he started talking about her just a little bit. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I know who that is. So he showed about this estate sale. It was interesting. And so I, I thought, I need to channel her. She feels like such a nice energy. Like she was a nice person energetically. So give credit to Jordan the Lion for this particular conversation. All right. So... With that, Doris, I felt her all morning. She has a lovely personality, very friendly, um, is making me laugh. She's funny. She is right up there with the Betty White kind of energy. <laughs> funny, funny. Um, although I will say that Doris is not um, as d dirty in her some of her comments as Betty White would be. Doris is more PG, more family friendly, maybe PG-13 kind of a thing. Um, she says, oh, I can hold my own. And she pulls like this bottle of whiskey, like I can hold my own with Betty. I'm like, oh, I bet you can. <laughs> so anyway, funny, funny lady. Um, feels like a grandma energy. Um, she says, yes, I have children. Yes, I have grandchildren. I don't feel like she was married. Um, I'm not sure about her um, husband spouse relationship. I feel like she may have been divorced um, or um, either that or her husband went to heaven before she did. Um, she says one of my husbands is dead in heaven and one is I'm divorced. And um, it feels like, and she's talking to me, but I can't quite understand Kentucky, Connecticut, K, there's a K, Kansas, there's a K, either a state or city that she's referring to. I don't know if that's where she's from or where he's from. And um, something about him being buried back home. I don't know what that means or somebody being buried back home and where they're from. And she said, everyone in California, everyone in Hollywood, is it's all just temporary. It's all temporary housing, she said. It's not really where you're from. It's, it's where you're called to be, she says. Hollywood is like this big satellite receiver and it calls people in to um to come here it's like a big shiny object everybody ah she's showing me almost like zombies she's like almost like zombies like if it's part of who you are you just can't you can't fully be alive until you get here you get here and she says i was unexpected here she said i had dreams of being um an actor in the theater and I can see her kind of singing and I don't know if she had a great voice or what, but I see her kind of singing. So like in musical type genres and, um, but she unexpected into California, I think. Um, and I'm not sure what that means. Unexpected into California. Um, and she talks about taking a train, like taking the train across country. I don't know what that's about. Um, I feel like it's possible that she was in New York 
I see her doing, um, it's, I see her, she's talking to me about stand-up comedy clubs, but not in the way that I would know them or think about them. So um, she said, we used to tape in front of live audiences for television, you know, and that was a hoot, she said, but you'd have to do the same joke five, six, seven times. And it, it, that was, that was a uh, tough, she said, that part was tough. <laughs> she said, that was tough. Um, so my, I'm feeling like everybody loves Raymond kind of vibes. I feel like she was on sitcoms before that, like a TV before that. Uh, but I don't know. I can see like some kind of appearance earlier on, like almost like a mod R2 bunker era kind of vibe. I'm not sure. But I see her as a great stage actor. Great. Like, multi-talented, could deliver one-liners, real dry humor, and um, great character actress. Really good. Just embodies the characters. Um, I can feel that. I feel staged, like, like wanting to be on stage on stage is a big deal. Um, I can feel her also doing something, wanting to do something with children or children's theater and having a love for children's theater. Um, so much so that she may have donated money or sponsored some children's theater classes or um, been involved in fundraising for um, different corporations or um, different, I'm sorry, not corporations, different organizations that would promote that. Um, I feel, okay, so I feel John Wayne. No idea why I feel John Wayne. Um, it feels like John Wayne, like one name, John Wayne, John Wayne. Um, and then I feel, um, and she's like, whew, like, hmm, good looking man. That's a good looking man, but he's off the market. It was a good looking man. I don't know if her husband was actually named John or whatever, but she's like, ooh, like, whoo, I'm swooning, you know, kind of a thing. She's being a little funny with me. And, um, okay, so. Um, oh, it's funny she says people confuse me with the lady from Seinfeld like the mom from Seinfeld like um, George's mom from Seinfeld I don't know what her name is and then she's talking to me about um, there is uh, plenty of opportunity for acting there's plenty of opportunity you just you have to be in the right place at the right time and willing to work. She says, you have to be willing to work for it. You really have to be willing to work for it. And there are many times when I wanted to give up and I thought, well, this is it, I'm done. And just thought, oh, well. And she says, um, it's not, it's like a put, don't put your all your eggs in one basket kind of a thing. Like if she wouldn't have made it as an actress or wouldn't have made it in Hollywood, she would have done something else. She said, I would have done something else. Life goes on, she says. Life goes on. It just, it keeps going, it moves on. And it's up to you to find what it is that you love and what you're passionate about, what really, what makes you feel really good. And to pursue those things. And those things aren't always found in fame or aren't found where others recognize or understand that acknowledgement doesn't come from outside of you. It comes from within you, is what she's saying. It's really good. And she says, do you know that I cook? I can cook. She says, I can cook. I'm like, okay, she can cook, all right. Um, I don't know if she's being funny or if she really can cook. It feels like she can cook. She's like, I watch the chew. I'm like, wow, okay. Well, they're not going to be on anymore. I heard that they're going to, this is their last season. She's like, oh, that's a shame. She says, but shows, shows come and go. And she said, she says, that's how, that's how it is. Everything is always changing. Everything in Hollywood, everything is temporary. Everything is temporary. And so I do feel that as well. All right. Well, thank you very much, Doris. Is there anything um, else in particular that you'd like to share? I almost feel like having a, like there's uh, having a stroke if she had a stroke or something. I feel like the body is, um, uh, she's like, are you gonna ask me about my transition? You ask everybody about your transition. <laughs> okay, I'll ask you about your transition. Um, so at the moment that you left the human body 
and moved into the afterlife, became full on spirit, which is what you are clearly, because I can feel you and you feel really happy, like content, contented. And she says, um, so tell me about what that was like, what that felt like. She says, everybody joined me. Like I could see everybody, all these family, all these, and it's hard to recognize everybody. You just feel like you know that they're your family. They're no, you know that they're spirit souls that are there to greet you because you know them, they know you. But you don't recognize everybody because some of them look so young. You look anti-aging, you know? She's like, they look so young and beautiful. And it looks like a young girl is in heaven too. Like there was a young soul that died before she did. Um, and a young, young, somebody that she knew in her life that died really, really young. And so this is a young girl that she, that greeted her and reunited. And she talks about her parents and she talks about grandparents and she looks like, looks like somebody from a different country. So like some European, Scandinavian, was European something. I don't know. Somebody from different countries. She's like showing me a lineage, almost like ancestry.com kind of, and they are not a sponsor. Maybe I should get them to be a sponsor, but ancestry.com like you know the the trees the lineage kind of thing and that's what it looks like so all right and then she shows me um and then she walks over like she's going um backstage or something like she's thanking her family or whatever and greeting her family and then she's going backstage to the dressing room to get ready to go on stage kind of thing she's going back toward the dressing rooms and that's where the green room is where she meets all these other comedians and actors and actresses and friends of hers from Hollywood that she knew from a long time ago and they have a reception for her they greet her and meet her and they're like oh we're so happy you're you're you know you're free from um from all that stuff over there and you're just, you know, we're, we're so happy to have you kind of a thing. So she had a warm welcome and reception from some of the Hollywood types that she knew very well. Um, I have some names also, but I'm not gonna mention them all. She says something about Cary Grant. I don't know what Cary Grant's all about. She like, hmm, Cary Grant. Um, Cary Grant, Donna somebody, Donna. Um, Mel, somebody named Mel, she's called Mel. Um, and just, she said, the old gang's here, you know, and she's connecting with all these people, uh, spirit energies. So that's, that's quite nice. So it was really social for her. It feels like it was really social for her. Um, and as we are learning from talking to other spirits in the afterlife, the transitions really, it's different for everyone. Um, it's unique or customized to you. So interesting all right I feel like there's health reasons why she died and I don't I don't know if it's a heart or or if it's like a stroke it feels like a body a full body thing like it's nothing you were going to recover from at her at the state that she was in she wouldn't recover from it but I almost feel like she's kind of conscious and unaware and there's like something about the neck like I don't know if they're putting an IV in oh sorry to be graphic if you if that freaks you out you guys but they're put, something's going on with the neck and monitoring. And then like, I feel her kind of in and kind of out, but not really in. So I don't know if there was like a wavering or if it just took a little longer for everything um, to fully um, release from the body. Maybe that's what it was. But it almost feels kind of like a stroke or a, I want to say aneurysm or aorta. Stroke. It feels like a body kind of thing like a in the body kind of thing she said it wasn't painful there's no she says when when you leave the human experience the human body there's no pain pain is attached to the physical body she says there's no pain so you don't feel that you don't take that with you some people might want to know want to know that she says to be clear you don't take it with you and she's talking to me right now one of her fondest or favorite memories there's this beautiful theater and it's like black around the background and then there's gold and then the, there's lights that are flashing, this beautiful old, it looks to me like an old theater, huge marquee. And she's that's one of her favorite memories or favorite places and being on stage there or being able to go there. I'm not sure which one, maybe both. <laughs> maybe being there and then going on stage there eventually at some point in her life. Just beautiful, like, I wanna say Broadway, but I'm not sure that we're in New York feels like Broadway on Broadway. It just feels, wow, lights, camera, action. Totally what you would vision, like something in a movie. So, 
All right. Well, thank you so much for your time, Doris. It was wonderful to meet you. You are, um, it was a, a pleasure. She says, oh, my dear, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Thank you. And she says, um, thank you. Thank you for paying attention. She said, <laughs> because I was, this is, that's how I connected with her was through this other vlog. So you see, when you are open, then information or opportunities show up for you, or invitations show up for you. And that's what happened with me, kind of in this random way. There was a, a an invitation that was extended to connect with her, and and here we are connecting. So this is Bridget. Remember, at Above Life Channel, the goal is to inspire your spirit, to fill you up with hope. And remember, it's your life, so live it. Thanks for being here. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.